For more latest news from the sports multiverse, please like, share and subscribe the bridge and hit the bell icon to never miss a notification. Manika Batra is one of India's most popular Olympic sports icons. She has enjoyed a remarkable rise ever since the 2018 Commonwealth Games. The gold medalist and Commonwealth champion representing India, Manika Batra. But ever since the Tokyo Olympics, where she scripted history by becoming the first Indian table tennis player to reach the third round, the story has been tainted with a backdrop of serious controversy. And what follows is a summary of the controversy. It all started right after the Tokyo 2020 Olympics when the Table Tennis Federation of India, the chief body that presides over the sport in the country, sent Manika a show cause notice. Manika was asked to explain her decision of not taking national coach Shomodip Roy's help during Tokyo Olympics. At the Tokyo event, the current world number 56 played phenomenally. Without a coach by her side, she made it till round 3 in singles before losing to Sofia Polkanova 4-0. Manika had decided to take her personal coach Sanmay Paranjape with her to Tokyo, but unfortunately he was not allowed to be in the match arena. TTFI had promised turn action against Manika. Within a couple of weeks, Manika replied to the showcase notice with serious allegations of match fixing against national coach Shomodip Roy. Manika alleged that the coach had asked her to throw away her matches during the Olympic qualifiers. The star paddler also clearly stated that she has the necessary proof and evidence to corroborate her side of the story. According to Manika, Shomodip had called her to his hotel room where he tried to convince her to throw the match for the benefit of his student. The student referred to here is Sutitta Mukherjee, who also took part in the Tokyo Games where she bowed out in the second round. Shomodip, a Commonwealth Games gold medalist himself and an Arjuna awardee, is yet to present his side of the story. He was not allowed to attend the national camp that took place in the first weeks of September at Sonepat, ending on 15th of this month in the run-up to the biennial Asian Table Tennis Championships. The TTFI decided to exclude Manika Batra, the country's best women's player, from India's squad for Asian Championships. And just two days later, Manika asked for a name to be included in the squad via an email to TTFI. The very next day, Manika moved to the Delhi High Court, filing a petition. In Manika Batra's plea challenging rules issued by the Table Tennis Federation of India, Centre informed Delhi High Court that merit has to be the sole criteria for selection of candidates and that attending or not attending a camp will not deter India from sending its best athlete forward. Now it is up to the TTFI to take the final call whether or not they want to include their star player in the contingent.